Johnny Cayenne. <laughs> many, <laughs> many congratulations. The World Series title that you've been craving. Yes, you won the big one, but now you have one of the individual events. Just sum up how you're feeling after that. Yeah, fantastic, mate. Uh, like you said, I got the big one, but this means as much. So um, last week wasn't my week at all. I was put to bed by a much better player. But I've proven myself tonight, I think, that I can play dance. Is this the spark that perhaps you needed just to just to reignite that season? Because from the win in the opening round, you've looked a completely different player ever since. Yeah, hopefully. Do you know what I mean? Um, listen, it just went good for you. It was my night. And that's why I look at things in life. It's, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. Look at little turning points through the session. How big was that one three six against Michael Smith? It wasn't a bad shot. I, I think that shot was um, one of my best shots ever. Could be better than my one two ones, but um, no, obviously, total respect to Michael Smith. We're big friends. We both know what we can do, and I get over the line. So, yeah, it's a good night. In the final, when you're in such a dominant position, that break can be quite tough because we've seen players switch off when they're that far in front. What do you say to yourself during that little three minute break? Yeah, you just, you know, listen, you just try and concentrate on getting over the line. So, you know, your concentration is, you know, game at a time, one game, two games, you know, and I managed to do it. So, um, listen, it's, it's like I say, it's my night and I'm chapped a bit. Is it even more special that the fact you had your family there to watch you win as well? Because we've seen so many of your titles, they haven't been there, but this one... To have them there, does that make it that little bit more special as well? Yeah, I don't know what I felt, but I, I went back on stage and I was thinking, I've never won anything with my family there. And to win that tonight, fantastic. What a feeling. It, you know, it's massive. It's genuine massive. We know how disappointed you were in Berlin with the Premier League. Does this put to bed and get rid of all the ghosts of that Premier League performance now that you've got that TV title and can forget about it? Yeah, hopefully, you know, listen, Berlin is gone. You've got to forget about it. It hurt at the time, obviously, but again, I was beaten by the better player. But hopefully tonight, it's going to kickstart my season on that big thing in December. I'm looking for that. So that trophy, hopefully, is going to be mine. Already got one eye on the Palace then? Mm, definitely. Always got one eye on the Palace. Sometimes I walk past it because I don't turn up. But at the end of the day, no, listen... We're all here to win tournaments and hopefully I've kicked off my season. Does your preparation genuinely start now then for Alexandra Palace and how much confidence can you take by going and winning two or three titles but potentially before going there? Yeah, listen, it's, we all, like I say, we all go to play dance. My eye is always on the Palace. No, my, my eye is always on every tournament. So, you know, if it's... it's like I say, we're all chasing the same dream. So um, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, Phil. Off to Hamilton. Next, how much are you looking forward to, to New Zealand? Well, apparently it's cold there. So, you know, it'll be Welsh weather. So it should be pretty good there. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, obviously, you know, um, it's an experience of a lifetime. I'm honoured to be, you know, invited to this. And hopefully I've proven what I can do and maybe I get the same you know, the same phone call next year. Johnny, many congratulations as always, mate. Thanks for your time and all the very best next week, mate. Cheers, Pat. All the best, buddy.